What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and guys today we are back with another video. Guys today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can install Minecraft, Forge and Mods on Chromebook. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe and let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you need obviously is Minecraft and that's fairly simple. Go to Google, search up Minecraft, Forge download, oh uh, no sorry, whoa. Minecraft download, my bad. Click the first link, and for those who are on Chromebook, you want to select the first link here on Get Minecraft for Linux Distributions. For those who are on uh, Minecraft Windows and Mac, it's the two at the top, and boom, yeah, Minecraft. After you've installed uh, Minecraft, just be sure to download download it in your Linux distribution. Uh, sorry, in your Linux directory, right there. Now we actually want Forge. Go back into Linux, or sorry, Chrome, and write download Forge. It's fairly simple. Now, go choose your version of the file of Forge that you want. So, I'm going to go ahead and select um, 1.12.2 and now how it's gonna work is that you have two options so on Chromebook specifically you can't download the recommended version because it just doesn't work so for Chromebook you have to have the download latest installer for Forge so go ahead and download it in your Linux directory folder and uh, we can move on from there to actually install go into your terminal launch penguin and for me I have it so right now uh, I've created a minecraft folder folder so basically it's just minecraft but for all the mods and the launcher so I'm gonna go select minecraft because that's where I downloaded my forge so CD minecraft for those who haven't downloaded it in a subfolder in the Linux directory uh, and only downloaded it in Linux you don't need to do this but I'm doing it since I also have it in my uh, versions folder I'm gonna go again CD and do versions because that's where I put uh, my forge so right here we can see in red so in red uh, our our version folder and now we're gonna do uh, gonna do Java dash jar so we're gonna do Java dash jar and then click and and write forge and then click tab so we'll finish and then click enter and it's gonna download it for you so for instance I'm gonna launch it and then this is gonna come up do not click install server or extract just click install client and then click OK the first time it's gonna take a little while but after you start downloading other versions of forge it's gonna speed up very quickly after you've downloaded that you can go ahead and close out of the terminal and go into your minecraft of course you can go ahead and log in because apparently Chromebooks are re are stupid so go and log in let's go okay so now we are in Minecraft launcher this is of course after we've downloaded the launcher obviously and now we do have Minecraft Forge 1.12.2 now to actually play uh, Minecraft Forge or with mods at least what we want to do is first of all we need to have the mods file so right now in my Linux directory uh, I have it in my mods uh, subfolder there you go oh wait uh, sorry I forgot I moved it but um, you should have a mod right here and then what you actually want to do is go back into your Linux folder of course copied uh, after copying the uh, mod file and then 
go on show hidden files by the way just saying if you don't know where to get the mods from go on curse forge and go ahead and download uh, a mod so let's say uh, I want to go back on uh, curse forge mods click on the first link and how it's gonna work is you're gonna have to select a very specific um, version so for me I'm gonna go all the way down click all and scroll all the way down until I see 1.12.2 and then we can download a mod so for me it's gonna be journey map I'll download this for instance and I'll you know take off the other map uh, mod because it didn't actually work so uh, this is where a lot of people get it wrong we don't want this what we want to do is instead go back click on the journey map go all the way down until we find 1.12.2 so unfortunately we don't actually have it but um or do we actually I'm not very sure Oh, we do. Okay. So, we got to have to scroll all the way down until we find our file version. So, for me, it will be 12.2. 12. Go to 8. 12.2. There we go. There it is. And February 12, February 1. So, this is what we want to, uh, this is what we want to download click on download remember you have to find the exact same file version as your minecraft version for the forge so now we can go ahead and download this in our subfolder for the mods and now we can completely close out now moving on like I said go back into your Linux directory and go to the three dots and click show hidden f uh, files and first of all, let's just copy our. Actually, no. We can go and select dot Minecraft. Now, for you guys, you guys have won't have this, so I'm gonna delete this for now, and I'm gonna re-add it. So, obviously, for Chromebooks, you're not gonna have the dot. Uh, well, you're not gonna have the mods folder. So, go ahead and click the uh, create the mods folder. Create. I created the mods folder, and now what we could do is go back into our minecraft mods subfolder take this and find the mods folder and boom we have it in our dot minecraft mods folder right here now just to be safe I'm gonna relaunch minecraft Re-log in, of course, because Chromebooks are stupid. I'm sorry. Microsoft or whoever the hell made these. Okay. Now we're going to click Let's Go again. And there we go, we have it, 1.12.24, there we go, we can go ahead and click play. Now it says it's preparing. Now this is going to take usually a long time, but uh, for those who haven't downloaded Forge, you're going to have to download Forge before you actually go in. So most people have to wait a little while before they get in. Uh, for those who whom it's saying that uh, it couldn't launch, just go ahead and relaunch it again it's fine it's gonna launch don't worry there we go we have uh, minecraft modded now I w I really do want to prove this honestly I really do so I'm gonna go and uh, launch a world because I'm curious to see if the performance is you know affected I should say
and there we have it we have launched minecraft and boom we have it so I don't know why there are five mods I don't know where the mods came from actually I don't understand forge mod loader oh journey map. okay now it makes sense so now we have this already there you go uh, this is how you play now I'm just very curious why they're screen flickering very curious it's probably cuz <laughs> yeah I don't know mods uh, we'll do creative and then create world honestly I am quite curious why it's doing this little flickering honestly but I'm, I'm sure it won't affect our gameplay I hope not at least I really do hope not right now we should after after loading in we literally just should have our journey map installed and ready to, ready to go ready to go yeah oh sorry <laughs> there you go I'm so by the way I'm surprised I'm surprised that they didn't really crash I'm quite surprised Okay, there we have it. We have Minecraft loaded. There you go. Wow. Um. Oh. Yikes. Uh oh. Close. There we go. I feel like it's gonna crash. I really do. Uh, actually, the performance isn't really bad. It's good. Performance is fine. Amazing. Oh, look at the older textures. It's funny. Okay, well, ah. Uh, can we change the. Um, maybe this changed something? I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is it.